So, it is the end of the night. We had a really hard workout. I am pooped out, so I look just not great at the moment. So, just wanna get that out of the way right now. I have been putting this video off all day long. I planned on filming it earlier and I just like, was working myself up about it and it is now the end of the night and I literally just, I had to work the courage up all day for this video. I hate disappointing people. I know that this will disappoint some people and that's why I have been putting it off. I don't know, I, I really had to work the courage up to make this video and I have been losing sleep over it. I literally have been very stressed about this and I, I just can't put it off any longer. Um, I promised myself before my 32nd birthday or on my 32nd birthday that I would make this video. My birthday's tomorrow, so I literally have like, uh, let's see, what time is it? I have three hours before it's my birthday. So basically, I turn 32 tomorrow. I will have been vlogging for seven years, and that is a very, very long time. And we have opened our home up to the public, um, you know, to, to have people in our home watching our personal life, watching us as parents, as husband and wife, um, just as a family. I honestly never even thought that I would be doing this I mean, I started my beauty channel. It was something that I was really, really like into and I, I started it because I really wanted to help people. And so that's where my true passion started and that's where my true passion still is. And vlogging kind of just like came about because our subscribers had mentioned uh, another family vlogger. Honestly, I'd never watched a vlog in my life before. I had no idea what it was. And we kept on getting comments over and over and over again about, oh my gosh, you guys should start daily vlogging. Like that would be amazing. And so vlogging was never really something that we ever thought we would do or that we had ever planned to do. It kind of just fell into place because so many people asked about it and asked for us to do it. And we just were like, okay, well, let's just make them happy. We will do it. And we've had a really awesome time. I mean, there's definitely ups and downs that, you know, that we've had during that time. And there's pros and cons to vlogging. And for the majority, like, you know, it's been, we've had a good time. Like it, it's been really great capturing the memories of the kids and having that footage to look back on. But I never actually thought that we would be doing it for this long. For quite some time, I have been really unhappy vlogging and there's like so many reasons why I don't want to vlog anymore. Like I've been trying to like rehearse this video in my head and try and say what I, I was gonna say. I went over it with my friends. Like it's been something that's really weighing like very heavy on my heart. Like I literally had like a little vent session with my nail lady <laughs> yesterday who has known me for years. She's my very dear friend. And like I, I was, I've, I've been really stressed about making this video guys because I love my subscribers so very much. And there's so many of you out there that are so good and I care about you and I appreciate you more than I can ever say. And I don't, like the last thing that I ever wanna do is to disappoint the people that I care about who have been so kind to our family. But I have been really, really, really unhappy vlogging and I have a great life. Like my life is really good. I have beautiful children. I have an amazing husband. I have amazing friends. But I have just felt like over the last couple of years, I have been just really unhappy vlogging. It's, I don't know, it's like, we used to have a really good time doing it. It was really fun in the beginning and we really enjoyed it. And I've just noticed lately as I've been getting a little bit older, it's become a little bit more uncomfortable for me to do out in public. We also live in a very small town, which can make it feel a little uncomfortable at times. Um, you know, the kids have started school now, you know, we're making a lot more friends, which means that we are going to a lot more events and birthday parties and get togethers and gatherings where we are with other families and other children that are part of our schools. And it's becoming to a point where I feel like there's less and less opportunities to vlog because I don't ever want to invade someone of another family's privacy. And of course, like the kids being in school, like there's less to capture. It's been a, like a struggle for us to come up with like things to show you guys without it being like unbelievably boring. And I find myself kind of dreading having to vlog and dreading having to vlog in public. I just don't like it anymore. I feel uncomfortable. I feel like it's just not something that I really enjoy or want to do. And I've just, been having like 
instead of being excited to wake up and do what I love, which is how I feel about my beauty channel, like I love filming those videos. I love editing them. Like I love everything about them. And so it doesn't ever feel like work because I really truly love it. That's what I've always been passionate about and that's what I still am really passionate about and I have been putting so much energy into that channel that I feel like the vlog channel has kind of just like, it, you know, it's, it's started to dwindle, which is fine. It's like every day when I wake up and I know that I have to vlog, there's like this little like pit in my stomach that's like, oh, like if you've ever had a job that you just, you really don't like and you have to keep doing it for whatever reason and you just, it brings you down like right off the bat because you just don't wanna do it. That's the feeling that I have been having and like I said, there's so many reasons why. Like it's, it, there's so many more like detailed reasons why I don't wanna vlog anymore but I just feel like it's unnecessary to explain each one and at the end of the day, it really just comes down to I don't enjoy it anymore and I'm kind of just at that point in my life where both Jay and I are just, we're kind of over it. We just don't really, we don't really like doing it anymore. We don't feel like it's um, just something that we want to do as a family and it's not making us happy. It's actually doing the complete opposite and it's making us very unhappy. Jay and I don't fight about really anything else other than our vlog. We don't fight about my beauty channel. We don't really fight about much at all other than the vlog. Like whenever we have fights, the common denominator is that it's always something to do with the vlog. And it causes, um, you know, it definitely causes some fights between us that really aren't necessary or that wouldn't happen if it wasn't for the vlog. And so it's kind of like a, one of those mutual deci decisions, decisions where we both are unhappy doing it and we both don't want to continue doing it. And so it's, I think for a, definitely my happiness and our happiness as a couple and our happiness as a family, we have just decided that we really don't want to vlog anymore. And it's nothing specific that's happened. It's, nothing like oh something happened today or there was a comment today like it's literally nothing like that it's just been something that has like over the last couple of years kind of just you know here and there it's like hmm, i don't i'm not really having so much fun doing this i've been doing something that has been making me very unhappy and been making my husband very unhappy and just been making us unhappy in general for a very long time because i was too worried about my subscribers that I didn't want to like hurt them or I didn't want to disappoint them or I didn't want to like I know I've had so many sweet comments that say like oh you guys are like what brightens up my day and it's like I feel like that's so much pressure that and I appreciate that like I love that but when you think about well I'm not going to be doing that anymore it's like what what am I going to do for this person am I going to disappoint them are they going to be sad like I don't want that to happen because I love you guys so very much and you guys have all been so sweet and like to the people who truly love us, I hope that you guys can understand because I, the last thing that I ever want to do is disappoint or hurt any of my subscribers because I, I'm, I just don't want to do that. Like I really don't want to do that. But like I've been talking to my friend, I like literally, it's like, I have been feeling this way for so long, but I felt like I needed to like reach out and say like, this is how I'm feeling. Am I feeling right? Like, am I making the right choice? Am I a terrible person? Like it's been, it's really been weighing on me. And all of my friends, you know, basically told me if you are unhappy, you shouldn't be doing something that makes you that unhappy. And the people who really love you care about you and will understand because they love you. They don't wanna see you unhappy as well. My birthday is gonna be the start of a new chapter. Like 32, I want that year of my life to be a happy one with less like unhappiness and stress. And I really just want my 32nd year of my life to be um, just a little bit more peaceful and I really just want to have like my privacy back and it's not like I'm trying to h hide my kids from everybody. It's not that type of privacy. It's just, I've had the public in my home for seven years, like judging me as a mother and judging me as a wife and just as a person in general. Like I, I don't have like just 
it, I just want to be able to just do whatever I want and not have to worry about what other people are going to think about my day or what people are going to think about my following day. Like it causes so much anxiety and I don't even like know how to describe that feeling because unless you've done it and you have like the same amount of um, people watching as we do and we don't even have that many like we you know we have a good amount but not anything crazy it's so hard to describe the feeling of like it's almost like you're trapped within your own life and it's a really hard feeling and it causes a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety um, for both me and Jay and it's just I feel like it's just not a sustainable way to live because it's constant Every day I'm concerned about, oh, is someone going to be saying something about this day, the next day, or it, it's just, I just want to have like a little bit more privacy in my life. I just don't, I don't want to open my home up to the public anymore. And, um, I feel so bad saying that because I, there's so many people that are so kind and it's not even that I'm like, oh, well, I don't want haters saying this. It's like, I feel uncomfortable like telling people what we do because I don't want them to go and watch my life. Like, I just don't like it anymore. And when I was younger, I loved it. Like, it was fun, it was great. Like, I didn't really care, but I've just noticed as I get older, I feel more and more uncomfortable with people in my home, in my life, knowing my business. Like, it's just a really weird feeling and I just don't like it anymore. And it's just causing me a lot of anxiety and stress and unhappiness that I really just don't, I don't want. I wanna go into my 32nd birthday feeling lighter and just less stressed and, it's not even the workload, it's not even the, the time that's put in, it's just that emotional um, anxiety of having people know what you're doing all the time. Because like we took off the weekends beginning this year and honestly those weekends have been it's just so relaxing. Not even like we're laying around on the couch or anything, but just knowing that no one knows what we're doing that day. It's like, it's just so peaceful to know that someone's not gonna judge that day because they don't know what we're doing and just to be able to do whatever we want and not have to worry, oh, is this gonna be interesting enough for the vlog? Or, oh, is someone gonna have something to say about this? Or, oh, I don't know if it was fun enough today or we're not exciting enough or we didn't do this, we didn't get a new car, or we didn't buy a new house. Like, it's, I don't know, it's so hard to describe. Like, I literally, I could go on for hours about the feelings <laughs> that it causes. Um, for, for both of us, but I think the main thing that I want you guys to get out of this is that I don't want to disappoint you guys. I've been sticking around for such a long time because I really care about you guys and I don't want to disappoint you in any way and I'm so appreciative of your support over the years. But at the end of the day, I just need to do what is best for me and Jay and our family and just my happiness in general. And I really, 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 really hope that you guys understand because, um, you know, I do care about you guys a lot and I really don't want to disappoint you, but I feel like I have to think about myself in this situation. I just feel like it's becoming harder and harder for me to wake up in the morning dreading, dreading picking up the camera and vlogging my life. Now, on the other hand, I don't want anyone to think that I'm stopping being online altogether. I will still have my beauty channel. That's where my passion lays. That's what I love doing. That's what I enjoy doing. I really love my beauty channel. Your work is better when you are passionate about it and when you do love it and when you enjoy waking up to do that specific thing for your job. And that is what I truly love to do. I really enjoy it. I have so much fun. It's just, it, it never really feels like work for me because I really love what I do. I think it's just, I mean, that's what I started doing. That's how I started my channel. I never started as a vlog channel. I started as a beauty channel. And that's where my passion has really always been. It kind of was a little harder when I first had the kids, which was why I think our vlog was a little um, more focused on because it was a lot harder to have the time to do beauty videos because I was having little babies around. As they've been getting older, I've had more time to like focus on that kind of stuff again and that's where I really want and have been putting all of my energy. And so I don't want you guys to get worried and be like, oh my God, where is she going completely? I will still be on my beauty channel, same as always. Um, and I will still be on Instagram, I will still be on Snapchat. And I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to like hide my kids from you. That is not, at, this is not where we're going with this at all. It's literally because I just don't want to vlog anymore, not 
like trying to be like, oh, I want to be so private that you'll never see my family again. That's not what I'm doing. I just don't want to share my everyday life with the public anymore. So you'll still be able to see the kids on Instagram. You will still probably see them on Snapchat doing silly filters. I will probably still do like taste tests because the kids absolutely love that. It's just the fact that I don't enjoy sharing my day-to-day -day life with the public anymore. It's just become so draining emotionally that I just, I don't want to do it anymore. And it basically just comes down to that. I just, I would like the next year of my life to just be, I just want to start a new chapter. And that's basically what it is. It's just that I just need a little bit more peace in my life. A little bit more would just be great. I feel like no matter what I say, there's going to be people that are disappointed. There's going to be people that have something to say about it. And I just can't worry about that, which is a huge reason why I'm not vlogging anymore because I, I just, I get so worked up and I get so worried about what people are going to say and what people think and are they going to like this and are they going to, I just can't, I just can't emotionally do it anymore. So I'm so sorry if I've disappointed you. I'm so sorry if you're bummed out. Like I literally don't want to do that to you at all. And I hope that you understand and I hope that you will still continue to watch me on my beauty channel and still be as supportive as you always have been and follow me on Instagram and follow me on Snapchat but and Twitter but I just um I just had to do this. I literally have put it off for so long and I put it off for so long today and I just want to start my 32nd year a different way in a new chapter and hopefully just enjoy my life a little bit more than I do at the moment. And like I said, I don't want anyone to think that my life is bad, it is not bad. I have a great life, I have a wonderful life. Um, there's just aspects of it that I don't care for and I'm a huge believer of changing things that you don't like about yourself or about your life. If you don't like your relationship, move on from it. If you don't like your job, get a new one. If you don't like where you live, move. There's so many different aspects of life that can cause unhappiness and there's so many different things in your life that will change as you get older and there's nothing wrong with changing and there's nothing wrong with saying you know what this isn't for me I don't like it anymore you know we all grow we all change we all get different hobbies and different interests and different likes and that's okay there's nothing wrong with changing but I think sometimes you have to have the courage to really like take a good look at what is bothering you with your life or what is you know something that is making you unhappy that you want to change and actually taking the step to change it. And that's what I had the biggest struggle with was finding the courage to number one, make this video and tell everybody how I was feeling. And number two, doing it, like actually deciding to, you know what, that's it. My 32nd birthday, I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna stop doing the thing that I don't love doing. And it is, um, it's it's scary, you know? It's <clears throat> especially when you make that change or you decide to stop doing something and thousands of people are watching and you could possibly be hurting or disappointing those people. That's what I have the hardest time with. So there will no longer be any vlogs, any daily vlogs or week vlogs or whatever they were. Um, and hopefully you guys respect my decision and Jay's decision as well. I love you guys. I'm literally losing my voice right now. I love you. <coughs> I've been talking for a long time. <coughs> I need water. <coughs> All I have is goldfish in here. Um, I love you guys so very much. I hope you guys understand. I mean, I don't know how many times I can say this. Like, I'm sorry that if you guys are disappointed, I just want you to know that I care about you. And I know that the people that really truly do love us will understand and will, I think at the end of the day, when you really care about someone or like someone, you want them to be happy. Like that's what you want at the end of the day is someone to just do what they love or enjoy what they're doing or just be happy. And I hopefully the people that really truly do like, like me or love me or hopefully you guys want what's best for me as well. And I think a lot of you probably have have been seeing this coming. Like, I don't think it's a huge surprise to people because I feel like the people who have known me for so long have seen that I've been unhappy and probably wondered like why I was unhappy. You can see that the person is unhappy and you're like, what is going on with you, girl? 
but you don't know exactly what the reason is and basically it's just been the vlogs i mean that's literally the root of all my problems is the vlogs you know it's been great we've had a really great run but seven years it's a long time and i we just want to move on to a different direction and start a different chapter of our lives <sighs> man this was such a hard video to make like i literally oh so hard to make i just oh i if you could only feel the feels that i feel you would you would know how hard it was for me to make this because I just care so much about my subscribers. So I'm gonna go now before I ramble on lose my voice completely. It is my birthday tomorrow. I'm gonna be 32. I am so excited. Jay has a special day planned for me, which I'm really excited about. Thank you so much for all of the birthday wishes that you guys have already sent to me. And I appreciate that so very much. I love you guys. I will always love you guys. I will always appreciate you guys. Hope you guys all have a great rest of your week. And I won't see you tomorrow. That sounds really weird to say. Like, that sounds really strange. It's weird because it's, it's emotional for me. Like, I think there's going to be people that are emotional about it. But it is emotional for me as well because we've had so many things happen over this last seven years. And it's going to be weird, like, not when you're doing something every day for so many years, like it's a habit. It's, it's like something that you're used to doing. And so it is going to be quite strange. I'm not going to lie. Um, because it's just been a huge part of our lives for so long. So it's going to take a little bit of adjusting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fabulous week and I will see you on my beauty channel. Let's leave it at that. I'll see you on my beauty channel. Um, yes. Okay. Bye. I love you guys. Mwah.